Good morning. I've not filmed in a while, so I feel a little bit a little bit rusty talking to the camera. I just thought I would film a few days this week, just a little weekly vlog type situation. Um, I'm going to see the 1975 tomorrow. 16 year old me is, oh my god, my hands look so big. What the fuck? It's given um, Nicole Kidman at the Oscars. Anyway, 16 year old me is screaming. I love the 1975 so much. I am obsessed with Matty Healy and I'm so excited. My best friend Ellie who lives in Bristol and I never get to see in real life. She's coming up and we've got an apartment in Newcastle and I'm very excited so I'm just going to be prepping for that today. I need a tan because your girl's pale. She's giving Casper. Casper the ghost. But yeah I'm very excited. Did my eyebrows yesterday and I need to wash my hair, do an everything shower, shave and whatnot. But first I need a smoothie. My favourite smoothie. The smoothie that I make every day and the smoothie that I have made possibly 112 times on this channel. Um, it never fails me. Bloody delicious every time so yeah. I've literally just woken up and I feel like my brain is not functioning properly yet and I can't speak properly. Cheers. So good. Okay, showered and squeaky clean. I've just been enjoying having my hair scraped back at the minute in a ponytail. One, because I'm lazy. Two, because my hair desperately needs touched up, dye-wise. And you can't really tell when I have it tied up. And also, I'm just trying not to use any heat or anything on my hair as much as possible. Just because I want it to grow. I have, like, such naturally curly... If you look at pictures of me when I was a kid, I had the most beautiful ginger curly hair and I just desperately want that back so the scraped back ponytail it is serving me at the minute also I just think everyone suits a scraped back ponytail it gives it gives Bella Hadid Bella Hadid so I just do mine hello I just do mine when it's wet do, 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 do. I can't stop smoking it that's what she said yeah, it's just dressed in black from head to toe. Matt Healy, please kiss my face. The flip. Water went everywhere. And I just make sure it's as smooth as possible. <laughs> my God. I look like a crazy person right now. So we got guns hidden under her. Is this a good tutorial, guys? Is this a really professional, smooth very clear tutorial <laughs> the only downside to the slick back ponytail is the headache that i get you know when your hair hurts you let down the ponytail and it like hurts to touch your hair that is the downside but no pain no gain am i right ladies that looks good the booble another brush once it's in the ponytail voila my sister, the best person in the world, got a big beauty advent calendar for Christmas and she gave me all the stuff that she's not going to use. She brought like a big goodie bag of stuff to me the other day. It was like Christmas all over again and she gave me this vibrate face thing that you like massage serums and stuff into your skin with and it's so fun. It does just remind me of a vibrator. Um would probably make quite a good vibrator actually. There's different settings. Can you hear that? Boo, boo, boo. Bit of pulse action. <laughs> so I've just been using this tea serum that she also gave me. It smells like tea, it's divine. Put a little bit there. And we go in with the, I don't even know what this is called. No idea. But it's very, very pleasant. I'm trying to be better with my skincare routine. I don't really have one. I've never really had one, but I want to have nice skin when I'm older, so I need to kind of get into the habit of taking care of my skin. Mm. Lovely. I'm Nikki. I just did my tan. I don't actually do proper fake tan. I just use this Dove Gradual Moisturizer thing. I just put like three layers of it on. It's just so much easier than proper fake tan, and it stinks less. It still stinks. It still has that fake tan biscuity gravy smell um but it's not as bad as like you know the foams and whatnot and 
the fake tan sprays and it also just moisturizes your skin at the same time so it sounds like I'm trying to sell you this I am not but it is much better and more convenient than actual fake tan I have found so yeah I just got that over and done with because I despise the task of tanning um but yeah now that's done yeah what was wrong with me I never know which clothes to put on once I've fake tanned because uh, obviously I don't want to make my clothes stink and orange so it might be a pyjama day today guys um, and I'm okay with that. Okay, so I've had a couple of orders through. I have an Etsy vegan dessert business, that's what I do. That's my jobby and I've had a couple of orders so I'm gonna do those and then I'll catch you later. I really jinxed myself yesterday. I said, oh my skin's been really good at the minute. Not a spot, not a blemish in sight. And then I woke up this morning with a cluster of spots. Okay, so I finished my orders and then I made a little recipe for TikTok. I made these Snickers caramel cups. They're so delicious. They're one of my favorite recipes ever. Yum. So we have a little oat almond flour base, then a date peanut butter caramel with peanuts, chalky on top, cheeky little fancy white chocolate feathering moment there. They're so good. I make these all the time. They're always in my freezer at all times. They're so, so good. Ah! I'll link the recipe in the description, but they're so bloody delicious. Look at they're proper little chunks, aren't they? They're chunky. I think I'm gonna make a little snacky. I had some leftovers for lunch, but I'm still a bit peckish. So what do I fancy? Oh, I have some Nush cream cheese, which is one of the most magnificent things in the world. They sent me a little top up and it's always a great improvement to my life when I get my hands on some Nush cream cheese. It's so delicious. So maybe something with that. Hmm. favorite snacks ever in the entire world ever ever doesn't look like anything special but i promise you it's so delicious we have a lentil cake not a rice cake a lentil cake they're much nicer they're the kayla ones very delicious nush cream cheese cucumber tomatoes rockets like a seedy seasoning type thing salt obviously chili flakes very delicious cheers They are quite messy, but they're delicious. Good morning. It's the next day. It's still so early. It's pitch black outside, but I can't sleep. It feels like Christmas day. It's 1975 day. 15 year old me is a fucking weeping and having a heart attack. And so is 25 year old me, to be honest. I completely forgot to film anything last night because I was busy trying to pick my outfit for today. I have no fucking idea what to wear. Um, still have no conclusions, but I'm just gonna pack later on this morning. I need a cup of tea and stuff and to wake up a bit because my brain is a bit frazzled. I'm very happy to say that I've woken up a bit less pale, a lot less pale, a little bit orange there. Mm, don't look. Check into our apartment thing that we're staying in isn't until three, which is not ideal because we need to leave at like six to go back out. So I'm gonna go through earlier and see if we can check in. I need to be quiet because everyone's sleeping. Okay, I'm packing. I cannot for the life of me decide what to wear. Okay, we have a few options. So I'm just gonna pack like three or four options. This is one of them. Very cute. Obviously you have to envision when you try stuff on that you're gonna have makeup and accessories and whatnot on, but I think this is quite cute. So I'm just gonna pack some a collection of things and I can decide at the apartment. Look at this mess. Okay, I'm packed, I'm ready to go and get the bus. Should we do a quick little fit check? Where can I put you so that you can see? This jewelry is from a brand called Yunez Project. The earrings, the matching little necklace and that butterfly ring. Their jewelry is insane, it's so cool and actually really good quality for a very good price. Um, I have a discount code so I'll put it in the description. But how gorgeous, please. It's giving me vampire vibes, you know what I mean? I'm just wearing, stay. This thrifted Holly Davidson long sleeve top with also thrifted 
jeans. They're like bootleg flary jeans with some Converse and then I'm gonna wear this jacket. Yeah, all packed, ready for the bus. Gonna listen to the 1975 The Whole Journey there and it's gonna get me very, very excited. Let's go. We checked in and it's posh and huge and lovely. Look at this view. Looks like London. Gorgeous. Eee! Tour, we have the kitchen and the living space. Oh my God, those beds look so comfy. Oh my, a bath. And then there's the same, what? It's so big, I'm getting lost. Where are you? Oh my god, it's fucking huge. I'm gonna have a bath in the morning. Aww, I want a bath in the morning. You can't have one. It's huge. It's so nice. Wow's a Rooney. <laughs> Look at that. What? The castle. Hello. Tea. Okay, makeup and hair is done. We're gonna go to the Alchemist for food and drinks, which is the place that do Really funky cocktails and whatnot. We're gonna be fancy ladies who lunch. And then go to the gig. Eee! So excited. Also, this is just the nicest hotel apartment thing that I've ever stayed in. It's so cute. But yeah, time to pick the outfit. I have no idea what I wanna wear out of the options that I brought. Why did I just suck my finger? Okay, so this is what we're going for. Holly Davidson top skirt I got for Christmas. I think it's from Urban Outfitters. We've just gone for this slick back ponytail tonight because I just want my hair off my face. And just Converse for comfort purposes. I did have this Levi's belt, which I love. It's my favorite belt, favorite accessory ever. But it's just when I'm jumping up and down and boogieing and stuff, I think it's gonna be incredibly impractical. So I'm just not gonna wear it. We've got these gorgeous earrings with a kind of matching necklace. They both got the red gems on. Um, my rings. We're going for food and cocktails and then it's time. It's time. I can't even comprehend that it's gonna be real. I feel like I've not seen a band that I really love in years and years. So I'm very, very excited. What? Yeah. Bit too early. Yay! Are you bringing those? Yeah. <laughs> it's giving Balenciaga. It's giving cancelled. Cancelled? Balenciaga. Oh, yeah. Oops. Oh, flash. Cheers. Lady Sulon. Yummy. We are Lady Sulon. <laughs> Last night was so fucking good. I've lost my voice a little bit. <coughs> this is my first time speaking this morning. We went to bed quite late, so I am a little bit tired. But last night was so good. You know, and it's just the perfect night. We went out for food. The food was so, so nice. I've never been there before. It's called The Alchemist. And we got a bang bang salad with the nicest peanut sauce on that I've ever, ever had. I pride myself on my satay sauce that I make. I think it's the best. I've never had it as good in a restaurant before until last night. It was bloody delicious. Then we had fries, which were really good, perfect crispiness. And then we had Vietnamese greens in a sweet chili dressing and we had padron peppers. And some margaritas with a salt and sugar rim. 
which is perfect. It was delicious. Then we went to Turtle Bay for some more cocktails and then went to the arena and it was just perfect. The set list was incredible. It was the perfect balance between their new songs, their new album and their old bangers which are very nostalgic for me. The 1975 are the most nostalgic band I think for me that I listened to. It was just perfect. Didn't get too drunk which is an accomplishment for me. I've been so bad with taking it a little bit too far recently but I was a sensible Sally last night and we were going to go out afterwards but the pub we wanted to go to, the queue was down the street. There must have been a hundred people in the queue. So what did we do? Like sensible 25 year olds. We came back to the apartment and we had a cup of tea and some food. <laughs> and you know what? I'm thanking myself for it today because I feel tired but I do not feel hungover which is just incredible. And now I don't know what to do. I don't know whether to have a little wander around town by myself or whether to just go home because I can't really be bothered to lug the big bag around that I've got. I can't decide. I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. This tea is not my usual tea. I'm a Yorkshire tea girl through and through and this is not Yorkshire tea. So it tastes a little bit funky. You know when you just want to relive a whole experience, relive a whole day? And it was so nice to see Ellie. I'm going to try and go up to Bristol soon and spend a week or so there because I love going up to Bristol. It's such a nice city and I don't get to see her enough. She's my bestest, bestest, bestest friend in the entire world. Also, a girl came up to me last night and said that she makes my recipes and stuff sometimes, which was so cute and she gave me a couple of little face gems to put on my face because she was wearing them and she had them in a bag and it was just ah oh, just the most perfect night i've just noticed my necklace i really apologize if this triggered you <laughs> throughout all of that okay so i'm all packed up and i'm just gonna have a wander around town and then get the bus home it's been lovely staying here i wish i lived here it is so fucking big and posh and this window is gorgeous but yeah Time to go. I will be taking these, thank you. I'm home and actually I think I'm gonna do a quick little workout, just a YouTube video. I like doing Sydney Cummings workouts. So I think I'm just gonna do a little half an hour, some weights, maybe a bit of jump ropeo. Yeah, I am rather smelly, I'm not gonna lie. It was very sweaty and hot and stuffy last night and I stink, so yeah quick workout and then a shower maybe a little face mask mm, could be nice look how gorgeous and sunny it is so today is the day that i usually do my big order for a cafe that i supply to every weekend so i'm just finishing off these caramel shortbread donuts so I just take them out of here it's so satisfying plopping them out of here pop and then I drizzle them with vegan white chocolate to make them look all pretty. I'm just deep cleaning all the silicone moulds to make sure they're nice and clean. Riveting, exciting content. Finished, drizzled, gorgeous. You can also order these on my Etsy website. I'll put a link in the description. They're so yummy, if I do say so myself. If you don't pick yourself up, who is going to? Also, I washed my hair again and just scraped it back. That's all I can be bothered with at the minute. Also, I'm getting my hair done on Monday, which is in a few days, so I feel like there's no point doing anything special with it until then. I'm excited to get it done. It is very, very patchy, and I need my roots touched up a little bit. And she did. Hello. Is it good? I dance with me dog. I dance with me donkey if I could. <laughs>
good morrow. I'm just gonna do a little bit of skincare with my new vibrating tool. Um, I've actually been up for a while. I had my breakfast. I had mushrooms on toast. Delicious. And then I did a little workout. I thought I would talk a little bit about my workout routine at the minute. Basically, I don't have one. I love working out. It's one of my favourite things to do. It's a big part of my life, but I don't really have a very strict structure with it. I basically just like to wake up and listen to my body and do what my body is asking for, what it feels like on the day and what sounds fun. I don't have any set amount of days that I work specific muscles or anything like that. I don't exercise to reach any aesthetic goals and obviously it's completely fine to do that and I've definitely done that in the past but that's not why I exercise now. I just exercise because it makes me feel good and it makes me feel strong and I just find it fun and I enjoy it. I don't have any specific goals in terms of how I want my body to look. I'm not trying to grow my glutes or build a large amount of muscle or anything so I just like to wake up and see what I fancy doing. I don't have a gym membership because I'm just trying to save my money so I just do workouts from home. I really like Sydney Cummings workouts. Hers are really really good. She really focuses on strength and working out to feel good and not just you know some fitness YouTubers it can be a lot of bullshit. A lot of do this 10 minute ab workout every day for a week and you'll have a six pack. Sydney Cummins really focuses on just strength and building strength over time, which I really like. And her workouts are challenging, but not too hard. I would say on average, I probably do lightweighted workouts a couple times a week. And then I will do um, jump rope a couple times a week. I really enjoy jump rope. I think it's so fun. I love putting music on and just having a little bit of a dancey skip. And I really enjoy doing lightweight. I also like doing bodyweight workouts sometimes, Pilates workouts sometimes. Honestly it just... oh fluff. Honestly it changes week to week and I've found that's how I've stayed consistent with working out the past few years is just doing what sounds fun on the day, not putting myself through anything too intense and not forcing myself to do workouts that I don't enjoy. For example, I am not a runner. I will never be a runner. I have no interest in being a runner because I don't like running at all. I'm not a good runner. My asthma flares up when I run. I just don't like it so I don't force myself to go on runs because it's just unsustainable and it's not what I enjoy. So yeah, I just recommend finding exercises that you genuinely enjoy and moderately look forward to. I'm not saying that I wake up every day and really want to work out. Obviously I have days where I don't want to but finding workouts that you enjoy at least a little bit and also rest is so important. Don't force yourself to work out if you're really 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 not feeling it and if you're tired. Obviously it's important to motivate yourself and sometimes do it when you're not really feeling it but if you genuinely feel like your body needs a rest, just rest. There's no shame in that whatsoever. Having a day, two days, a few days, a week, a couple weeks off exercise is not the end of the world and it's taken a long time for me to realise that and realise how important rest is and to not feel guilty for it. I never really film my workouts because I just do it in my room and I don't really have a good setup in order to do it. I kind of just do it over there and there's nowhere to really put my camera. If I join a gym in the near future I'll definitely try and include my workouts more in my videos. It's so easy to stress over which exercises should I be doing, how many days a week should I be working these muscles and you know when you're really forcing yourself to do exercises that you don't enjoy and just doing them because you think you should or doing them because you think they're the most intense and you're going to get the best results then it's really easy for it to become unsustainable and you're just not gonna not gonna keep up with it. Find exercises you enjoy and stick with those and just don't overthink it. And yeah I'm finally in a really good place with working out and I enjoy it and I'm very consistent with it because I pick workouts that I enjoy. Just made a quick protein smoothie to have while I'm doing some work on my 
laptop yo i'll write the ingredients on the screen i usually just do the same ingredients basically sometimes switch up the type of berries that i use and whatnot but it's very delicious it has blue spirulina in it today which has made it a very pretty color mm. so bloody good every time i am i am a smoothie connoisseur i will make you the most delicious smoothie I had some makeup on for about an hour and then I've just took it immediately off because my skin is just not looking too good and I feel like I just need to have no makeup on today. And I'm going to do a little face mask. My sister bought me this set from the body shop for Christmas and I love it. It's so cute. This one is coffee. This one is charcoal. This one is matcha tea. There's also another one, but I think that's downstairs. So I'm just gonna do a little face mask and it came with a headband. And she also got me this little brush. I think I will do, I think I'll do the matcha one. Mm, it smells so nice. It doesn't smell like matcha, but it smells nice. Oh yes, that feels good. My period is on the horizon and spots just they appear in their thousands i always get them on my chin and around the bottom of my mouth never get them on my forehead i don't think i've ever 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 had a spot on my forehead in my entire life it's so strange it's always just around my chin area i don't know if that is to do with hormones if anyone watching is a skin hormone specialist Please tell me why I only get them around my chin. Okay, it's on. I highly recommend either getting this kit or getting either of these three face masks. They're so good. The coffee one smells. Oh my god. It's so incredible. It smells chocolatey as well. Is there chocolate in it? Xanthan gum. Rogue. 